back to Cooking at Pam's Place. I'm Chef Pam and we're getting ready to make baked fish. Oh my goodness, guys, it's crispy and crunchy. The texture is absolutely amazing. The taste is outstanding and it looks so delicious. Oh my goodness. And if you want to learn how to make all kind of homemade food and dishes, easy, simple, made from scratch, take a second and subscribe to the channel. Make sure you turn on that notification bell so you'll always get my videos. And then give the video a like, share it out, and just keep hanging around because I have a whole channel full of recipes that'll get you there. Let's get busy. Okay guys, we are back and we are ready to go over the ingredients for our baked fish. Now today I am using Mahi Mahi. This is the store of our dish. But let me tell you something, this recipe, you can use it on whatever your favorite fish is. Flounder, cod, tilapia, you name it, you can use this recipe for it. But today this baked fish is Mahi Mahi and it is going to be amazing. Now, I have a few ingredients. These are just the main ingredients. I have a few more that we'll get to as we go along with the recipe. It's quick and easy too. We've got mayo, Parmesan cheese, breadcrumbs, sour cream, lemon, olive oil, and like I said, a few more ingredients. So let's get this baked fish made. Let's get started with our baked fish. As I said, I am baking mahi mahi fish. This is going to be baked mahi mahi fish, but you can use flounder, cod, or anything you want. Now, I have already rinsed it off, but I wanted you all to know, I also go in with just some regular lemon juice, and I do this to all my fish for cleaning purposes, and I just pour some over it, my fish just like that. Make sure it's on all sides. Then we're just going to take this over and rinse it right back off. Make sure it's all sides to get it good and clean. Okay, we're going to rinse this off and I'll be back. Okay, we are back and for the purposes of not needing to transfer your fish, I would suggest you work in the dish you're going to bake it in. Now I'm using this dish, but you can use anything, a cookie sheet or anything that you would like. What you wanna do is spray. I always like foil, it's easy cleanup and it ensures non-stick. So I'm just using a simple butter spray here and I'm gonna spray the foil really well. Okay. Then I'm going to lay my fish right down on the tray with the casserole dish in this case. Next, we're gonna go in with some olive oil. You wanna put olive oil, make sure it's coated on all sides with the olive oil. Just rub it in with your hands. Make sure you have clean hands, clean hands. If they are not, make sure you wash them. Olive oil on both sides here. Flip it back over to whatever side you want to be your top side. Okay, now we're gonna sit this aside and make our topping. Okay, now the lemon that we had is going to be for the garnish at the very end, so I'm going to just sit it aside. Okay, we have our sour cream. We just wanna go in. Now, as always, guys, the exact measurements, directions, everything will be in the description for you all to refer back to. So we're gonna go in with some sour cream mayo. Now, I like Hellman's. You can use whatever mayo you want, but I find that Duke's is just a little bit sweeter than what I would like to have. Okay, we'll go ahead and mix this together. Make sure it's pretty well combined here. Now we're gonna go in with our Parmesan. This is actually Parmesan Romano, but you can use plain Parmesan. This is what I happen to have on hand. We're going to be adding in some garlic powder, onion powder, Himalayan salt, just a little bit to your taste. Go ahead and give that a mix as well. Now we're gonna go in with our breadcrumbs. Okay. 
and a little parsley. Make sure everything is well combined. At this point, you wanna give it just a little taste. Make sure you have all the seasonings that you'd like to have in there and it tastes right for your taste buds and your family. You wanna add a little bit more garlic, add a little bit more garlic. Okay, so we'll taste. Mmm, mmm. Ooh, perfect, perfect, perfect. You wanna take your fish and you're just going to spread this right on top of it. Now we're going to be baking this fish for about, oh, maybe 18 or 20 minutes in a 400 degree oven. You do not want to over bake your fish. Just lay this right on top, just like this. Make sure you cover it all the way to the edges. Okay, that should do it. Okay, and last but not least, we're going to take our panko breadcrumbs and we're just gonna sprinkle a few across the top for that extra crunch in the end. Okay, 400 degree oven, 18 to 20 minutes, and we'll be back. Hey guys, I just heard the oven. I think our fish is ready. Let's check it out. Oh my goodness, doesn't that look amazing? Amazing, amazing, amazing. Let me bring you guys in close. Ooh, we are done. Look at that, look at that. Now I'm going to go in a little lemon. Squeeze it right over the top of each one. Okay, guys, that's going to do it for today. We are done. Thank you so much for coming and hanging out here in my kitchen with me while I baked Mighty Mighty Fish for you. I really do appreciate each and every one of you guys. Thank you so much. Those of you all who are new to the channel, welcome, welcome, welcome. Don't forget to subscribe, turn that notification bell on, give a like, and share it out. Okay, guys, I will see you next time. The good Lord willing and the creek don't rise.